Jim, our next question was sent to corny drive through at gmail.com from Dirk in Victoria West, South Africa. Good day, Jim and Brian. Thank you for your excellent program. It helps to keep me reasonably sane during lockdown. Recently, a story surfaced about a Nigerian pastor who claimed to win the International Spiritual Wrestling Championship by beating Satan in hell, <laughs> making it a loss for the hometown hero. Pastor, and you're going to have to excuse me and, here. And the, and the people were hot, too. Pastor Odumiji claims that there were no spectators or referees, only the two of them in a closed-door match. Well, and part of that, is, besides COVID regulations, hell can only be 50% capacity. And imagine how many people are due there every day. But also, to sell tickets to a match in hell? Fuck, they had hard enough time getting people to go to goddamn Atlanta New Year's Day. If, if Selling tickets in hell, the travel packages are horrible. The weather's the shits down there. Parking is hard to find. I'm not surprised there were no spectators. Let's go back to Dirk's email. This offends me as both a minister in the Reformed tradition <laughs> and as a wrestling fan. I have a few questions. One, why not have a pay-per-view? And two, without a referee, who could acknowledge the pinfall or submission? I have been sent an article. Let me click this. Oh, photo. <laughs> it's written in Nigerian, though. Photo. Odumiji wins belt, defeats Satan, and wrestling in hell. This is in the newspaper. I don't know what this is. I don't even know what website this is. Amanda Chison gifted us a Christmas reevaluation or a leak, or could it be false? Let's have <laughs> let's have Odumiji to decide. We checked, but we couldn't find the source. <laughs> On her Facebook page, the right and PR shared a post of self-acclaimed prophet Odumiji clutching an apparent wrestling belt, the type you see John Cena and Brock go heads on for. In the post, she stated that Odomiji allegedly won Satan or the devil, as some refer to it as... Oh, let me go to the actual post here. And obviously, in this case, English is a second language for these people. There is a man... Who's writing this. There is a man here with a belt. Eh, pretty nice looking belt. And what is his Odumiji? O D U M E J E. Wasn't he Joe Petticino's backer? <laughs> in <laughs> That's someone else. Oh, that was Olu Oliani. Olu Oliani. But uh, that's uh... Oliani. He. Should... <laughs> I had been hearing from Joe Petticino. I'm telling you, Jim. It's true. I've had it checked. I've got a letter. He faxed me the letter of credit. You know the old days. The fax machine. The the paper rolled out. And there was some kind of thing you put in there, and the, the, the ink on the fax would fade over time. So after 30 years, you could barely see it at all. But I still have the fax. Where he faxed me Olu Oliani's line of credit, $30 million to start global wrestling. And I fucking saw the guy in person after all this buildup at the Louisville Gardens when they did one of the shows where he was going to buy Memphis from Jerry Jarrett with that $30 million. And this guy walks in, he's five foot two. He looked like a Nigerian Louis Armstrong. His fucking cheeks were goddamn giant. And he was playing grab ass all night with the the um, <laughs> the fucking girl wrestler that was calling herself Sweet Brown Sugar or whatever at that point. But go ahead with your oh, story. Well, here's the uh, tweet or the, um, I don't know what this is, Facebook message from Amanda Chisholm. OC Spiritual Wrestling? Nigerian controversial pastor Odumiji Indaboski Bahus said he won a belt in International Spiritual Wrestling Championship after defeating Satan in a closed-door match. Pastor Odumiji went for the said wrestling match in hell, fire alone, and, alert and emerged victoriously. Odu won him a match in hell, dum-dum-dum-dum-dum. The said match had no all referee. All the South Park fans are dying now, and you're all alone, Brian. The said match had no referee or spectators, just Satan and Pastor Odumiji. Congratulations, Prophet 
in Dos in Bahus. And uh, that's the, any closing thoughts on this story, the around the world segment here on the show. Yes, I'll have you know, breaking news. I just kicked the shit out of Brock Lesnar at a closed door match in Saskatchewan. Was there a referee? No, because we we closed the door. He couldn't get in. <laughs> but I beat Brock. Just ask me. I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs>